In question one, we've got a straight line and its equation, and we've got a curve C and we've got its equation. And then we've got to sketch on the same axes the line and the curve, and it wants us to show the values of the intercepts on the x and y axes. So we've got y intercepts and we've got x intercepts, which you'd probably think of including on your sketches anyway. Okay, um, for the line, that's all you need to do. Now, the way we get y intercepts and x intercepts are always the same. For a y intercept, x is always a particular value because we're on the y axis. And for the x intercepts, y is always a particular value because we're on the x axis. Okay, and oh look, for the uh, curve, they have factorized that quadratic for you so that you can easily find the uh, x intercepts. Now, for this quadratic graph, um, the other thing that you need to think about is its shape. There are only two distinct shapes for a quadratic. In other words, you need to think which way up it is. And in fact, uh, with the, if you've got the x-intercept and the y-intercept correct, then there's only one uh, sensible way up that you can draw it. But that's a useful check. Okay. Um, then we have in part B a show that question. So in a show that question, they give us an end point. So what we have to end up with is in fact this quadratic equation here. So don't get mesmerized by that. That is where you need to end up, and it may not be obvious to begin with where it's coming from. So if that's your end point, where's your start point? Well, it talks about the points of intersection. So intersection is a trigger word. It means usually that we're going to be solving simultaneous equations. So we need two equations. What equations? Well, it's the intersection of L and C. And I have the uh, equation of L and I have the equation of C. So these are the two equations that I need to solve. Uh, and although they are simultaneous equations, they're both already in the form y equals. So substituting one into the other is very easy. So all I've got to do for this show that is to start by doing that and then end up without any algebraic cheating just by rearranging and ending up with this equation here. So that's these two marks. Now, as so often, show that is then followed up with a hence question. Now, hence often means this is a re-entry point. And in this particular case, it is. Here is our starting point for part C. Okay, It goes on to say, um, find the coordinates of these points of intersection of L and C. Well, that's just repeating what it was saying here. We've done the work on using the word intersection, solve simultaneous equations. So this equation applies to the points of intersection. So all I need to do is solve that and get two values for x. But look at what we're asked to find. We're asked to find coordinates. Now, coordinates aren't just about x's. They're also about y's. So I'm going to get, um, if there are two values of x, I'm going to get a value of y for each x. Okay. Where are the y values going to come from? Well, they're going to come from um, th either this equation, or if you really want to, from this equation. You can substitute your x values in to find the y's. Both equations, of course, should give the same answers if you've done your work correctly. So you give two pairs of coordinates as your answer to part C.